Dear students, welcome to Divya's Math Solutions. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 4, Practical Geometry, Exercise 4.1. Question number 1. Construct quadrilateral ABCD, AB 4.5, BC 5.5, CD 4, AD 6 and AC 7 cm. We need to construct a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means we need to construct a four-sided figure. Correct. So first we can draw a rough figure. Based on that we can do the construction. So any figure we can mark. It's a four-sided figure. We can mark A, B, C, D. A, B 4.5 cm. B, C 5.5 C, D 4 a D 6 A C 7 Using this we can do the construction. So what is the base of this uh, quadrilateral A B right? A B is 4.5 cm. First we can mark that A B equal to 4.5 cm. Exactly we need to draw. We need to use a sharpened pencil. Then we can mark a B, A B equal to 4.5 cm. Okay, next step B C. B to C distance is 5.5 cm, right? So in scale, using compass, we can take 5.5 cm. 5.5. Five. 5.5. Then using B as center, we need to draw a arc. BC. But here we didn't get the C point. Anywhere we can mark C but we don't know the exact point. Right. Then how this point of intersection C? D to C. But D also we don't know. D and C is intersecting. B and C is intersecting. But we don't know the point D. Right. So what we need to do? We can take this A. A to C is 7. If you are taking from A, 7 means it is intersecting at C. That point we can take it as C, right. That means what is the A to C distance? 7 cm. So we can take 7 cm in the compass. 7 cm using A as center. Using A as center, we can intersect this arc. So this point of intersection is the point C. So this one, the point of intersection, we can mark it as C. Then we can join. What we need to join? B to C. B to C. B to C. B to is 5.5. We can check this is 5.5. Yes, this is exactly 5.5. That means our construction is correct. Next, A to C also we can join. A to C is 7. We can verify also. If it A to C is 7 means your construction is correct. Your drawing is correct. A to C is 7. Yes, it is 7 centimeter. We can mark that also. A C is 7 cm, BC is 5.5 cm. Then what is remaining? D is remaining, right? D. So D is what? A to D distance is 6 cm. So we can take 6 cm. Six cm. A to D is 6 cm. Again, where we can find the D? We are not able to find exactly, right? So what is the point of intersection over this D? C to D, 4 cm is the point of intersection, right? So what is the distance C to D? C to D is 4 cm. So we can take that 4 cm. 4 cm from C. That is the point of intersection is called a D. That one we can mark it as D. So we can join A to D. A to D is how much it will come? 6, correct. So our construction is exactly correct. This is 6 cm. Then C to D is 4. Is it 4? Yes. This is 4 cm. That means our construction is perfectly correct. So this is 4 cm. So this is our quadrilateral ABCD. Using this all measurements we did. We can write the steps also. Second one, construct quadrilateral jump, J U M B, J U 3.5 U M. So we can do the rough work up first. Rough figure. J U M P. J U is 3.5. U M is 4. M P. 
M B is five, P J P J is four point five, and P U P two U is six point five. Using this measures, we can do the construction. So what is the first one? J U J U is three point five. So first we can draw the base. Three point five. So we can mark J U three point five centimeter. First we need to draw a line J U equal to three point five centimeter. Next we need this one right. P J is four point five. Then this U also we know the point right. U two P six point five. This point of intersection is the point P. Cut. So we can take four point five. Four point five. This one four point five from M to P is also point of intersection, but we don't know the point M exactly. So what is the next point of intersection? U P. U we know exactly. So U P we can easily draw right. U P is six point five. U P. U two P is six point five. So four point five. We need one more time. So this is a point of intersection. So this point we can mark it as P. We can join J P. J P is four point five. Is it four point five? Yes, this is four point five. So this is correct. Next day U P is six point five. See exactly six point five. So we can write six point five centimeter. This is. Four point five centimeter. Next, which one we need? M, right? So M two, uh, P two M is five. So we can from here we can draw one arc. Next point of intersection is U two M is four. So from that intersecting point we will get the point M, right? So U two M is four. We can take four. Four. Next, P two M is five. P two M is five. From P, we can take this point and intersect. So this point of intersection is the point M. So we can join P M. P M is it five? Yes, this is five. Next is this is four. Yes, this is four also. So four centimeter. Four centimeter. Five cent. So this is the figure J U M B is a quadrilateral. Question number three. Construct parallelogram mod. So first we can do the rough figure. M O R E. Here Q R six. Sorry, O R. This is O R only. O R six. R E four point five. E O. Seven point five. So what from here it is clear that in parallelogram opposite sides are parallel and equal. So E R equal to what M O. So M O also four point five. R O equal to what M E. Right. So this is also six. Why? Because in parallelogram that is the condition of parallelogram opposite sides are parallel and equal. Using this we can construct the parallelogram. So what is the base? M O. M O is four point five. Four point five mm, four point five centimeter. Next, O two R is six, but here we are not able to find the point. Here only point of intersection. Which one? M V no, M two E also V no, O two E also V no. Using this, we can find the point of intersection E. Right. So what is M two E? M two E is six. Right. M two E is six. So from here we can take the point. And we can draw the arc. Next, step, O two E is seven point five. Seven point five from O to E is seven point five. That point of intersection is called E, right? 
he began drawing. M to E, that is 6. We can measure, yes, we said that is 6 centimeter. Next to E O, E O E 7.5. Yes, this is exactly 7.5. So that also we can write 7.5 centimeter. Next, yeah. next point is R, right? So E to R is there, O to R is there. Using that, we can find the point of intersection R. O to R is how much? 6. 6. Then E to R is 4.5. E to Four point five. This point we can join this also we can join, we can verify. This is four point five, this is six. Six centimeter four point five centimeters. So this is our parallelogram M O R E. This is our answer. Next, construct rhombus best, B-E-S-T. Rhombus means what is in the shape? This is a rhombus. All the four sides are equal for rhombus, right? All the four sides are equal. B-E-S-T. B-E 4.5. B-E 4.5 and E-T. E-T means this one. This is 6 centimeter. 6 cm using this we are going to construct the rhombus. How we can construct this rhombus? In rhombus shape or we, you can make it this BE as base means this one comes as a square only. So like that also we can draw or like this also we can draw the rhombus. Question number 4. Construct rhombus BE ST BE 4.5 ET 6 cm. We are going to construct a rhombus. What is the speciality of rhombus? All the four sides are equal right? B E S T and B E 4.5 and E T is 6. We need to construct. So what about this rhombus? All the four sides are equal. That means all the sides are 4.5, 4.5 we can take. Correct. So this B E we can make it as a base. So how this figure will come? This figure will come as a square only. Right. Anyway we can start with the. See this square we will turn the page means we can see it as a rhombus. So anyway we can make B E as base. B is 4.5 centimeter. B is 4.5. B2. E is 4.5 centimeter. Next day E2S is also 4.5. S2C is also 4.5. And T2B is also 4.5. Because all the four sides are equal, right? So E2S we can take 4.5. E2S. E2S 4.5 we can take. Next step. This S the point of intersection we don't know. Then what about this top point? This top point is 6 right. From where it is starting? E2 T is 6. That we know. B2 T is also 4.5. So using this we can find the point of intersection 6 right. That means B2 T is 4.5. B2 T 4.5 we took. Then Again this point of intersection T1 point is there. Which one? S2 T. But S we don't know. But we know the point E. E2 T is how much distance? 6 right. So we can take 6 in the compass. 6 from E2 the point of intersection. That is called the, this B2 T E2 T. So the point of intersection is T right. This one we can mark it as T. So the B to T is 4.5. We can check this is 4.5 or not. 4.5 correct. Next E to T. E to T is 6. That is 6. We can verify that is also 6. So this is correct. Now we got this is 4.5 centimeter. This E to T is 6 centimeter. Next what is the remaining point? Yes right. So T2S is 4.5, E2S is also 4.5. That point of intersection we can find out. Four point five. 
E2S is 4.5. T2S is also 4.5. That point of intersection we are going to find out. So we got that point of intersection. This is called a yes. We can join. Yes. T2S also. 4.5 centimeter. 4.5 centimeter. See. 4.5. 4. .5. 4 .5. In wrong box, all the four sides are equal. This is 6 centimeter. We can check this diagonal. Okay, this one is 6 centimeter. So now this is in the form of a rhombus. We can just turn your book. See, this is in the form of a rhombus, right? So this is the rhombus B E S T.